टेन स्टेप कोरियन स्किन केयर रूटीन विथ द हिंट ऑफ टिंट दिस एक्चुअली वर्क एंड आई सी वाई दिस इज गोइंग वायरल इट्स अ पिंक शेप मास्क सेल्फ केयर इज मोर देन जस्ट स्किन केयर बट वी कीप ड्रॉपिंग थिंग्स So here's your reminder to wear your SPF. Skincare should never feel like a task. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a more 2014 kind of video. which is the 10 step korean skin care routine to make your skin care a little fun a little bougie i would recommend these skin care accessories the hair band is okay if you skip but these are going to change your life do you know when water drips when you wash your face these actually hold on to that water and then you can wash them later these are not only for like aesthetic purposes these actually work so Now let's get into the skincare. So the first thing before starting your skincare, I would say wash your hands. It's like a pet peeve of mine when people like touch their face without washing their hands. Now that my hands are all clean, let's get into the skincare routine. And wow, that rhymed. Okay, the first step is using a cleansing oil. I usually like to use cleansing balm, but this is the only Korean skincare. product which i have in cleansing oil category so i don't have a cleansing balm i just have this cleansing oil so this one is the face shops rice water bright cleansing oil and as you can see i have used up so much it has like a stopper here so you're going to remove the stopper you take your cleansing oil on your dry hand and you're going to massage this in circular motion and cleansing oils are great to remove not only makeup but also your sunscreen so even if you're not wearing makeup i would still recommend double cleansing to remove that sunscreen which i hope you are using i mean um okay anyway so this cleansing oil has a very light weight texture i do want to add it does have a subtle fragrance so if you are allergic to fragrance i don't know if this would work for you now i'm going to take some water in my palms and emulsify this and you can see the second step is going to be a gel cleanser so this one is the cosarex low ph good morning gel cleanser and this one has this tea tree fragrance this is what the consistency looks like it's a gel formula it has this tea tree essence fragrance in it and it is a foaming cleanser so once you apply it on damp skin it's going to foam so I'm going to wash your face now this is going to be like a second layer of cleansing which will remove the dirt and impurities from your skin Let's wash this out. Now that I washed my face, wait. I want to first show you all how the water just collected till here, and this part is completely dry. So these actually work. Moving on to the third step, and that is exfoliating. And I got this viral red bean refreshing pore mask. So it's like an exfoliator, and it is like a mask at the same time. And this one is very popular. Why do we keep dropping things? Hold on one second. Let me get that. So I was talking about this red bean exfoliating mask, which is going super viral right now. And I'll be honest, I just got this product. Everything else I already had, but I didn't have like a good Korean skincare exfoliator. So I saw this, and this one smells very herbal, like kidney beans almost. This has a very spa fragrance, and this is what the consistency looks like. I think it was going viral for its bouncy consistency. So yeah, let's apply this. Also, they gave like a small spatula with it, so that's pretty convenient.
these have these exfoliating beads as you can see and i'm just going to keep this mask on for like 10 minutes and then i'm going to wash it out i feel like it is sucking out all the sebum out because i have a very oily t-zone and yeah it has these exfoliating beads which i'm going to be exfoliating a little bit right now like i said in my previous video if you want to feel like you've just gone to uh, you've just come back from a spa just put on a clay mask it will work wonders also everyone's skin is different so choose what kind of clay mask works for you for my review on this one i see why it's going viral it smells really nice like a spa scent and it has like this tiny exfoliating beads which exfoliates your dead skin cells and also its texture is really nice i feel this is going to be perfect for summer times so yeah if you can find this one to give this one a try i'm just going to scrub this a little and we are going to wash this out i got this face makeup remover cloth from miniso and i think this will work perfectly to remove this face mask as well my skin feels so refreshed like could you tell like from the before i should have done like a before and after but despite this i feel like my skin is like completely cleansed and i feel so refreshed and amongst this heat right now as you all could see in the time lapse i was actually sweating it's so hot right now and this face mask is actually refreshing so this one right here i'm pretty sure if you've seen this on your for you page as well i got it from amazon and make sure when you're buying amazon products it is from like an authentic seller or sold by amazon or from amazon favorites so yeah otherwise other places you could get these skincare products i will let you all know in the end of the video so keep watching so it did remove everything out but until i wash my face i won't feel like i've cleansed it out so let me quickly rinse my face and i'll be back my skin feels right now so refreshed and the clay mask does like help to tighten your pores a little the next step is a toner and i have these from miguhara they actually sent me these products so thank you miguhara i've been really enjoying these products so so this is one thing that is also super popular right now and these are toning pads so basically you get them in these you get it like infused no so i was saying so you get this container with like the toner inside and you get these pack of toning pads there are 70 cotton pads right here and yeah i'm not going to be using this today they also give you this to like pick up the toning pads and yeah i'm not going to be using this right now but i just wanted to share this product which is absolutely genius so for the toner i'll be using the megohara sika bakuchuli cleanse toner and bakuchuli is supposed to be like a more uh, lighter form not lighter form like it's um, you know how retinol is very heavy so this is supposed to be a more calming retinol you know how retinol can sometimes irritate your skin this is more like a plant based antioxidant and i'm just going to take a few drops of the toner on my palm and i'm going to pat it into the skin especially my t-zone because it gets very oily and the purpose of a toner is to control that excess sebum production and also some of them are exfoliating so i'm using this for a while i have shared my am and pm skincare routine on my instagram channel so do check that out so what you need to remember is that after you cleanse your face uh the products will be applied from the most lighter consistency to the most heavier consistency that's why we start with toner then we go with essence then your serums 
then you go into your moisturizers so always remember that skin care is applied from the most lightest to the most heaviest consistency speaking of which the next step is an essence and hi i have this essence from k secret so i've spoken about the cosarex nail mucin the very popular one in my empties video so go watch that and today i'll be using this essence from k secret the good thing about this one it has rice also and rice water helps in like even toning your skin i don't want to use the word brightening because i don't believe like in products which will like brighten your skin like there's nothing like fairer skin or something your skin will still be your skin we need to learn to appreciate our skin how it is yes we can do things like building a skincare routine to like keep your skin feeling good this also has that snail mucin consistency and it's a little more lighter than that i would say it has rice water i forgot i was filming shots at the same time i forgot to film one step okay and the good thing about this one it has rice extract as well which helps in like i don't want to use the word brightening because i do not believe in any of this products but i would say it helps to even out your skin tone the snail mucin helps with like barrier repair we need to learn to appreciate our skin because that is our skin we can only do so much to help us feel good about the skin but always learn to be happy in your skin and when you learn that trick nothing in the world can stop you just that kind of confidence it really takes something to get that kind of confidence so don't be fooled by all these marketing ads saying skin whitening brightening no 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 the next one is treatment and so you can use like your ampules or your serums in this step and i got the miguhara sika bikichuli blemish ampule this step is going to vary uh, depending on what kind of targeted skincare you're looking at i have like few blemishes so this one helps in like reducing the blemishes after applying so many layers my skin still feels a little it doesn't feel like heavy like i'm carrying a lot of stuff on my face like it instantly absorbed we have not got into the moisturizer yet so wait i'm going to be combining the next two steps which is sheet mask and eye cream i have sensitive eyes and i don't really use any eye creams and i don't see the need of any eye creams you can just use your moisturizer also under your skin which under your skin you can also use your moisturizer under your eyes like dab it a little and that would also work perfectly fine as long as you're keeping it hydrated so the next two steps are going to be So the next step is going to be sheet mask and your eye care. So for the sheet mask I'll be again using the Kiehl's Secret Calamine Derma Secret Mask and this is a pink mask. Do you think the mask inside is also pink? I actually got this has a freebie when I ordered from there. So yeah, let's try this one. I have this weird thing of smelling stuff. Do you think it is pink? Let's find out if this is pink. It's a pink sheet mask. My video just got way more aesthetic. <laughs> I mean, dude. Why am I so excited about this? Like a kid, I just like when everything matches, you know. So yeah. Oh wait, I was supposed to apply my eye patches before this. Hold on, I got carried away. I forgot to apply the eye patches before. So for the eye care, I'll be using this Jeju eye patches. I'll be using this green tea gel Jeju eye patches, and. I've used this before. 
Hence the packaging looks like this. This is what it looks like. It is and it has 60 gel eye patches. So this is what it looks like. Do you apply gel patches like this? Or do you apply it like the other way? I don't know. I feel this is more fitting for some reason. But yeah, let's take the other one. So that is what it looks like. Now that we are working on the eye care, let's put on the sheet mask, pink sheet mask. So, are you guys ready? It's actually looking white now. Huh. Okay, so I'm going to keep this on for 20 minutes and I'll be right back. In the meanwhile, let's do something more therapeutic and that is for me, coloring. So, I got this mandala coloring book a while back and I have been coloring this whenever like my thoughts have been feeling too overwhelmed and yeah, it's really therapeutic. Y'all should try it too if you love art. So, if you ever find yourself in like a kind of rut or like your brain is like running too fast or something that way do try coloring therapy it actually works my grandfather always taught me to color like in uh in one direction because do you know people like scribble like that and like that so that's one thing i will always remember to like color in one direction as a kid i actually love doing artwork not mostly like drawing but i like coloring doing art and arts and craft and yeah so that's why you could see i'm more of that creative kind i have i feel like i'm more of a creative kind of mind see do you see what it's doing to me i'm actually like talking to y'all like it's therapy while i'm coloring it makes you feel really calm like with my sheet mask on and coloring this is a whole vibe yes what is self-care without a little skin care but doing other things you love is also like a form of self-care so this is just a reminder to do something a hobby that you love and you might have forgotten over the years growing up so yeah my other hobby except for art is also dancing and i used to participate in a lot of events growing up but somewhere along the way we have lost touch with all of these things so anyway well that's life and the good thing is that if you still remember the things that make you happy and the things you love to do you will instantly remember that and try doing something that you love be it cooking be it arts and craft even something like I don't know whatever is your hobby just and that's why my channel is called self care uh, don't ask me why the mmm is for but yeah because self care is more than just skin care so yeah remove the sheet mask before it dries up otherwise it's going to do the opposite of what it's supposed to do The next step is a moisturizer and this one is also from the same range of Mikuhara and this one is the Sika Bakuchuli Erasing Cream and the texture of this is a little thicker so it kind of works for like the 9th and 10th step together because the 9th step is supposed to be moisturizer and 10th is supposed to be a night cream and this has a quite thick texture so it works really well as a night cream don't forget to apply all the products on your neck as well so like i mentioned the last step is a night cream or an spf and the spf i like to use is this one right here this is by k secret so 1988 sun with pine tree and ceramide SPF 50. 
50 pa plus 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 this one has a light texture without any white cast and this is what the applicator looks like i'm not going to apply it right now but if you're like stepping out or it's during the daytime make sure to check this one out since we are talking about skincare i thought why not talk about my favorite tint and that is from the etude house this one is the etude house dear darling water tint in the shade 02 cherry 8 and this one is a watery consistency like similar to the uh, similar to the bennett tint my whole am skincare routine currently has just been uh, washing my face the snail mucin spf and this right here this 90 percent of the time this is my am skincare and yeah just to add like that flush of color etude house really makes some good tints and i think they're kind of like in the affordable category compared to the all the expensive brands like peripera and the ones which you don't get easily so since i was talking about favorites you all know i love this one already but this is kind of my new favorite and i saw this on a lot of people's videos so i came across this one in brands for less both of these tints cost under 25 dirhams actually in brands for less and i came across this one and the color of this is so beautiful it's like this wine color and like in a tint this is amazing this one is it just gives you like this flush of color but it is not like hydrating so i always have to apply like a gloss over it and the thing with this is that it has a tint and also it gives you like this shininess let me show it to you all hold on do you all see that how pretty it has like this glassiness to it and this one is in the shade pk003 and this is what the color looks like so that was all for the previous 10 step skincare but then i just thought i would add my favorite tints also in here since i'm talking about my korean skincare so this is what my skin is looking after the 10 step korean skincare routine with the hint of tint Glass skin always does not mean like clear skin. Skin is still going to look like skin, especially with like everyone's skin is different and like Korean skin in general, like because of the genetics, it's different from like Indian skin and products only help so much, but we need to learn to embrace our skin and remember that skincare is a journey and nothing ever happens overnight so just use like the right skincare products for you for your skin type and your skin if it's healthy hydrated i feel that is what your skin that is what your definition of glass skin should be so you need to learn to embrace your skin be comfortable in your own skin just because some products are working for someone else does not mean they will work for you like i said everyone's skin is different and you just need to find the products for you that being said skincare should never be a task like if you feel like 10 steps is a task for you it shouldn't be that way also what do i think about 10 steps Yes, back in the day, it was like very popular and it does feel good. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like I've come out of like this spa, like pampering my skin. But realistically, like on an everyday basis, we're not going to sit and do 10 step skincare. And also, um, we don't need all these products. If you have like basic skincare routine with your cleanser, moisturizer, SPF and only if you need like any kind of targeted treatment products that you can include occasionally and yeah and sometimes you can use like a good mask or you can use like an eye mask sheet mask clay mask for like a pampering routine like maybe once a week or once a month or whatever but you do not need to do all these steps together that's what i'm trying to say that's all for this video you guys i hope you liked watching this fun 
skincare video i hope this video was informative and inspiring and encourages you to build your skincare routine if you found this video useful give this a like subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one bye